Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Eternal Sonata Episode 4. Now, when off camera, I leveled them up one more level to level 4, and they both learnt a new skill, which is it's how you learn skills, by the way. Leveling up. Um, let's see, how do we set them? Yeah, on the status screen is where you equip and choose which abilities. Algretto learnt Sky Divider. Medium knockback, special attack slash is the enemy too. Would that be better than Sun Slash? It does less hits. It only does two seconds. Uh, two hits. But it uses up less time as well. 1.6 seconds of that bar. That's 2.8 seconds, the one we had. I'm going to try Sky Divider. Just for the sake of it. Now beat. He learnt, instead of Vivid Shot, Fire Blast. Four hits on target within 43. Now that is really good. That's the Sun ability. The purple one's the Night ability. You know, the dark ability. If we put Fire Blast on, then we can't take photos, so I'm not going to do it for now. I did learn those rats can use... Oop. Those rats can use a healing move to heal each other. So, maybe look out for that if you can. Let's get going. Cutscene. Be careful, Beat. They're after the bread. We've got people waiting for this, and we don't have enough to give any of it to you. Yeah, there we go. Our first boss. Now, I think so, the good, a good idea would be to give it to the rats first. So I'm going to do that. Let's try Sky Divider. The ability to wow. I dealt quite a bit of damage here. Got the shooter. And again. Ah, uh, he defended. If he didn't defend, then there would have been a good chance that we would have beat it. If you don't get rid of the rats first, they can obviously heal the boss. You don't want that. As well as doing a tiny bit of damage, but that doesn't really matter. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. I need to get some photos of it. We need some money, and these, you know, a lot of money from these photos. How do I skip? Can I skip? Nope, you got to use your time up. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can turn to a camera angle, apparently. Right, peace turn. So, let's get out of the way a bit. Got a few photos. I'm going to do that one more time, and then we'll get down to kill him, you know. This boss can deal quite a bit of damage to be fair. Move out the way a bit for Watch this. Five, six. You can check out which photos you have on the main menu. Um, on the menu, you know, when you press triangle. It's incredibly handy to know how many you've got. Oh no, I was in the shadow. You can't do a lot of damage if you're not good with guarding. Fortunately, I'm not too bad. It gets a lot harder as you go on. Finding the timings to guard it. But for now, it's okay. <laughs> I got another one in. That's handy. Ooh, I think he's weak. Because before he started attacking then he was looking down, sort of. That's the sign. There we go, see? Even when he's not defending, he's down on the floor. Ooh, just about a life, I'd say. Even with your physical attack left, you can attack from a distance with feet. Oh, we're done. Sabre, new sword for Algretto. Cutscene, probably. Thank you so much. You bet. Don't eat it all at once. Hey, Reddo. 
know. Why is bread so expensive anyway? If it was a little cheaper, we wouldn't have to steal it for people. Do you think the baker lady is just being greedy? Well, you know, Beat, it's not actually the baker lady's fault. Huh? What do you mean? The reason the bread is so expensive is the high taxes on it. It's not just bread, either. In Retardando, just about everything you need for everyday life has high taxes on it. That's why there's a lot of kids out there who can't get a decent meal to eat these days. And that's why they need us to help them, right? Yeah. The only thing that's not taxed is mineral powder. Oh, I see. So that's why anybody can get it. Because it's so cheap. I guess the Count of Forte isn't really that bad after all. I mean, at least he keeps the tax on medicine cheap. Besides, you and I have the bread problem pretty much taken care of. Hey, don't get cocky. Be careful what you say, B. Come on, let's hurry up and drop off the rest. Then it's time for us to eat. Polka, dear, what's wrong? You've been sitting in your room all day. Oh, what am I going to do with you? I guess what happened is still bothering her. Poor thing. I should just stop her from going to Retardando. Whenever she goes there, she ends up getting hurt. Polka, help me pick some flowers later, okay? Did you notice that magician girl from yesterday wasn't around today? Yeah, you're right. Mm, I guess I should have taken a picture of her. Are you still messing around with that stuff? You need to look at things with your own two eyes. You'd see things a whole lot clearer if you weren't always looking at them through bent glass. That's not what photography is about at all, Reddo. And another thing, it isn't called bent glass, it's called a lens. Still, you have to feel sorry for that girl. I guess she won't be around for much longer. What? She won't? What are you talking about? Don't you know anything? That girl was able to use magic. And that means she must be sick with some kind of incurable illness. And it's always fatal? That's right. Yeah. Only people who are gonna die soon are able to use magic like that. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, I guess being able to use magic isn't that great after all. No, it's not. You can't use magic powers unless you're really sick. This world's pretty messed up. I get it. That's why no one in town wanted to get near her yesterday. They didn't want to catch her illness, too. Yeah, that's right. But the disease isn't actually contagious. That's just a rumor somebody started. A rumor? Yeah, it's weird. Most of the time, people don't really trust each other. But when it comes to something that they think might hurt them, they'll believe just about anything they hear. And they'll ignore almost anything else that doesn't help them directly. I guess. As long as they have food on their table, they don't care if other people out there are starving. And that's why we steal bread to bring them, right?
Okay, Beat. We leave first thing in the morning. What? too excited about tomorrow to fall asleep. And besides, it's way too early to go to bed anyway. Oh well. I guess I'll go out and look at the stars or something. see many stars out in the sky tonight. I guess all the bright lights from the city make it hard to see them. Olga, there you are. I was wondering where you went when I didn't see you in your room. Retardando certainly is beautiful at night. Do you think so? Somehow, when I think back on it, I get the feeling it was much more beautiful when I was a little girl. Yes, well, things always seem nicer in our memories. It's still just as beautiful. You'll have bad dreams if you stay up too late. Come on, let's get some sleep. Is Retardando really the same as it's always been? 
really? No, it's not. This place used to be much more beautiful. You have a heart that sees the world with open eyes, don't you? Who... who are you? And what are you doing out here this late at night? Everything in the world slowly fades with time. It is very difficult to remain still and keep things exactly as they are in just one particular moment. But because everything shifts only a little bit at a time, no one really notices the change. The things that Frederick is seeing, is it all really just a dream? The difference between dreams and reality may very well just be relative. Oh, and what makes you say that? Well, I don't know. I guess it just came into my mind when I was watching Frederick's face while he was sleeping. Hmm, that may be more true than we know. Perhaps what Mr. Chopin is experiencing is not a dream. Only the individual can determine what is a dream and what is reality. Just because his eyes are closed, that does not necessarily mean he is dreaming. However, if he comes to think that the world he's in on the other side is the true reality, then... Then... it's possible he may never return to our reality. Hmm. Wow! So you can use magic powers too, Frederick? Oh, but then that must mean you're like me. And that you're gonna die soon, too. Yes, you're right. I'm afraid that may very well be true. So, what kind of magic can you use? Well, essentially any and all kinds of magic. After all, this whole world is in my dream. <laughs> You're a strange man, Frederick. No, it's true. Everything around us is all a part of my dream. Even you are just a product of my imagination. Hmm. Okay, then. If what you say is true, can you tell what I'm thinking about right now? If we really are inside your dream, then reading my mind should be easy for you. Of course it is. You were thinking that you don't want to use your magical abilities in front of other people anymore. Am I correct? I don't blame you for feeling that way. No one likes to be hurt. There's something I'd really like to show you, but it's in the forest. Would you come with me? Huh? You want me to go with you to the forest? You mean right now? Yes, because it can only be seen at night. Okay, there we go. We have now met our fourth character, and that is... Frederick Chopin. 
all of this world is inside of Chopin's dream, inside his head, as he's dying on the in the real world. And yeah, he's our black mage. You could say he's the main character, or you could say Polka. Some people say Allegretto, but I I wouldn't because he's just <laughs> I don't know, he doesn't have a sort of the sort of vibe for me of a main character. Other than being a swordsman. <clears throat> oh. Um, yeah, that was a lot of cutscenes and stuff, so I better end the video here. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit when we have our first episode after the credits. <laughs>